Hey, I'm Colin, and this is Colin's Comics Column. I just finished the most recent issue of Supergirl Being Super. It's the second issue, and I talked about the first issue, but I'm so excited about this series that I want to talk about the second issue, too. Maybe this will just keep happening. This uh, series took like a dramatic swing and kind of tone between the two issues. The first one is like, Supergirl worries about her high school picture day and battles a super zit. The second one, like on page two, it's like Supergirl's best friend is dead. And now she's sad about that. I was a little shocked. I was like, oh, this is gonna be like a fun, maybe like more introductory into comics type issue where she has to deal with high school and teen angst and also developing superpowers or something like that. I like this series so much because I find this characterization of Supergirl to be so approachable. I think I can relate to her very easily because I think the writing is very good. But it's a great comic book if you are looking to just kind of get into comics, especially if you watch the Supergirl TV show because hey, it's a they're both about Supergirl, I guess. But it's also, it doesn't take place in the main uh, DC universe. It's just Supergirl, it's in a high school. You're not gonna need to know any characters from any other comic books. You're not gonna even need to know anything about Supergirl in order to pick it up. This can be the first thing you ever read. And if you like it, then maybe you wanna take the plunge into something uh, bigger and more expansive. I like it just because it's like, it feels so consistently uh, heartfelt and well put together. So that is my review for Supergirl being super to Collins 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 Collins